Over the last few hours, people have brought prayers, food, and music to this memorial. Any little gesture just to show this community you are not alone. Flowers outside the Tree of Life Synagogue are placed down in heartbreak and empathy. Those flowers were made as a memorial garden, actually, for my wife. They seemed appropriate now for a reinstallation and memorial of the people that were um, killed at Temple. Jews traveling in from around the corner and across the country to give comfort. They're my congregation. They're my community. They're my neighbors. When tragedy happens, we're all one. We're all Jews. Whether we're orthodox or conservative, we're all Jews and we have to support each other. Supporting each other through the unthinkable. One man watched as his own friend was killed directly in front of him. He steps over Mel's body like it's a, a, a log. I assume he was looking to the back of the room, but he couldn't see anything because there was no light. In that petrifying moment, Barry Werber was on his flip phone with 911. But the gunman turned to leave, apparently not seeing him or anyone else. There was no light once I started talking. It shuts off, and that's why he didn't see me. Holocaust survivor Judah Samet pulled up to synagogue four minutes late Saturday because he stopped to chat with his housekeeper on the way. And I say, this guy standing right outside my car behind the wall with a pistol, and he started shooting. And he was shooting two, 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 three. For the survivors and even the heroes, like former Long Island rabbi Hassan Jeffrey Myers. I could only save some. Um, the people in the back of the sanctuary, I could not save. I carry that regret with me and I will the rest of my life. Tonight we've seen Jews, Christians, Buddhists, people from all walks of life paying their respects as one community in mourning. From Pittsburgh, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.